At the Junior World Championship, Scotland faced the USA in their final pool game in Wrexham. And for two players on the opposing sides, it was something of a reunion. American fly half Hamish Roberts and Scottish scrum half Peter Jarosevich learned the game together at the same small club in Aberdeenshire. You ready for us? Yeah. Ready for the small as well? Yeah. Our dad's supposed to play there together when uh, we were just young, young kids and uh, went along together with, the, uh, with our parents and uh, I think we must have passed the ball out a few times or something like that, but memory's a bit blank from those days, we're just about three or four, so. I don't really remember much from, from Scotland, but I've been back a few times, so I remember some people, but not this guy. <laughs> <laughs> The two players first met several hundred miles north of Wrexham. Just outside Aberdeen, Geary Rugby Club has always had strong ties with the local oil industry. When the Geary Rugby Football Club started up in the uh, late 70s, there was a lot of migrant uh, New Zealand uh, players that came over to Scotland to work in the oil fields. A lot of them came along to our club, they seemed to like what uh, we did and uh, there was a, lot, it was a young club, there was a lot of young people there, and uh, a lot of enjoyment. Two of the New Zealanders who joined the club ended up marrying local girls and staying long enough for their sons to play junior rugby together here. The boys, Hamish Roberts and Peter Yarosevich, were just two of a handful of young players at Geary at that time. Peter and his parents stayed in the area for many years and he now represents Scotland. But Hamish moved on with his family to the oil fields of Houston and is an American citizen. And now, years later, they find themselves in opposition. These two young men don't know each other anymore. Uh, they won't remember each other because it's uh, 15 years ago. But I, I think there'll be a fair bit of interest between the two of them. Of course, Peter's playing scrum half and Hamish is playing uh, standoff. And uh, it, it, they're going to be meeting each other. They are going to be in each other's faces and uh, it'll be an interesting uh, Confrontation, shall we say. Maybe if we're at the bottom of a rock or something, I might have a bit of a laugh, but you know, I'm sure uh, we'll talk about it after the game, but on the pitch, it'll just be just treating as anyone else. Yeah. And on the pitch, Peter and the Scottish team dominated proceedings. Fast delivery from the number nine kept Scotland moving forward during the first half, and Chris Kinloch was one player to take advantage. Both teams had already lost to South Africa and Samoa, so neither side was going to progress to the Cup semi-finals. When Hamish went missing from his fly half channel, the Scots made sure of victory through Paul Loudon. The award goes to Jordan Muirhead. Back in Gary, the youth section has grown massively from the days when Peter and Hamish were involved. So how many more future internationals are lurking here? Every one of these kids is talented. They're talented in their parents' eyes and they're talented in our eyes. I don't know if they're talented, going to be talented in the future in the Scottish uh, coaches' eyes, but uh, as uh, I always say, we had four kids kicking about doing micro rugby when Hamish and Peter were here. Now we've got over 30 doing micro rugby, and I'll bet you there's some more international players there. <laughs>